Hey everyone, this is me, Octavian. Welcome to another Dev Diary. In this one, I'm gonna, well, as always, talk to you a little bit about what has been up, you know, ever since the last one, which was yesterday, probably. Um, today has been a pretty, I guess, you know, short day in terms of, you know, things uh, getting done. It's been a bit uh, hectic, but um, I still wanted to at least address a few of the small things that have kind of shifted ever since the last time you've seen things so so as to keep you updated as consistently and constantly as possible and so i think the most interesting thing that i've changed since yesterday has been that we've gone from not having that lag setup to now Finally, going back to, again, having things working, both in aiming with its own lag values and in standing with its own lag values. We still don't have the specific running lag values or crouching, but that's fine. Those are coming. And in any case, those weren't really all that different to most of the others. The biggest difference resided in the aiming versus the standing ones, especially because of the offset difference that you're looking at. This is still a problem, but at least the, the scope has also centered now as almost as a side effect of this fix. And all of this has happened mostly because I've implemented what I told you that I would implement yesterday, which has just been doing that small fix was which was trying to do the runtime lag value struct now if you don't remember or you haven't watched it's very simple we had a node which basically contained another animation blueprint that is very tiny and only really had the functionality for the weapon lag right and that was here which is very close to the end of the animation blueprint, meaning it applied over everything else, pretty much. We weren't, I wasn't really like controlling whether it was being applied on standing or on aiming or on whatever. It was just over everything. And so today I've taken that and instead of doing what I said I would and applying like some final results here and taking um, a runtime lag state and calculating here whether it's standing or aiming i've done sort of what i said i would i do have a standing and an aiming runtime lag state they do exist the only difference is that what i've done is i've made two apply first person lag nodes this one and this one and i've put one and in case this is confusing, the only thing that's happening here really is there's a blend, this right here. This just blends between this, which leads to a lot of stuff that is just the standing animations, and this, which leads to a lot of stuff that is aiming animations. That's it. Not more complicated than that. And so all I'm doing here is simply saying, hey, I'm going to apply this aiming lag Whenever you're aiming, that's it. And I'm going to apply this standing blueprint lag whenever you're standing. And this is a complete blueprint, right? Or like if I double click on it, it's an animation blueprint. And all it has is this struct runtime lag state. And this has a bunch of values, which are now not, you know, named standing, 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 which is what they were named before, in case you haven't seen that. They're more generic and they're all applied to the same nodes. So that's kind of the, the main, that's kind of been the main thing. And then I, I've been a little bit stuck on trying to figure out what the heck is up with the aiming offset. I'm not really sure what's up with this. I'm not sure. There's something going on and I'm theorizing whether it has to do with either the, and it could have to do with multiple things, but it could have to do with one. There's this 
amazingly annoying function, which pretty much gives you a world world space scope position or a weapon position, and it moves the weapon entirely over there. We have that just to calculate and ensure that you're always aiming through the middle of the scope, right? If you just make sure that you're aiming through the middle of the little dot. That's it. And so... It sounds weird initially, I know. And so that, that function is fine in and of itself. It's definitely working. But you have to apply some sort of offset after it to ensure that the weapon is pulled back to, so that it looks good in first person too. And I think maybe the offset after that is not being applied correctly. So that, that's kind of the current uh, thought process that I have. I don't know if that's it. I'm going to look into it. It's 2 a.m. I'm probably not going to look into it right now. Or maybe I will. I'm not sure. But either way, I wanted to film the video and at least kind of, you know, talk to you about it. Because I think it's really interesting. And just keep you updated. Also, just... As a reminder, as always, you know, we have a free FPS template that you can check out in the description because I talk a lot about the realistic assault rifle template, but, you know, we have free products too. So we have a course uh, on YouTube, so you can check that out too. And, you know, if you want some free resources, I usually leave a Notion link in the description too. So, you know, again, there's some cool stuff over there. Also, you know, we have many other videos to watch. If you don't want to watch any of that, that's also fine. I'll probably see you tomorrow if you want to watch. Otherwise, it's clicked. I'm going to go back to working on this. <laughs> see you, boys. Peace.